Okay, we're going to make a video on, there's a pressure regulator that's part near brand new. And it's regulating, but it's failing to lock up. You know, what we got here is a gauge, we're reading about 100 pounds. I'm going to go flush a toilet. And... The gauge will drop, and the gauge is dropping, but I'm going to set the, the dead hand along with the pressure to show that this gauge, that this regulator, it may be regulating. See, look, it's going down to regulate, and it took it a while to drop down to regulate, too. But what's happening is once it's done regulating, it's failing to lock up. The, the lock up feature or the lock up ability of the regulator is not functioning. It's kind of like a drippy faucet is allowing the water to just continue to bleed back in once the regulator shuts off. And uh, basically the regulator doesn't function. It's only regulating when you're drawing water, not when the water is static, which is, defeats the whole purpose pretty much. And what we'll do is we'll watch as the toilet stops running. Usually a regulator will go up about five pounds before it locks up. This regulator is going to keep going and it's eventually going to go over 90. And I got the gauge, got an old washer in it where it's actually leaking at the connection to the spigot. So it's not like thermal expansion from a water heater or anything can affect this. Now watch, the black needle is going to just start to, to climb because the regulator is failing to lock up. And it's going to push the red needle, it's actually going to push it past 90. And this is how you test the lockup feature on a regulator. Probably make it happen even faster if my gauge washer didn't leak like a sieve. See, see the little jump it just made? And it's going to do it again too. So there's no water running in the house right now other than a leak out of this faucet. See, we're approaching 90 now. There it goes. Just hit 90. So while this thing may drop it down to 55 or so, 50-55 when it's actually drawing water, it's regulating while you're in, in dynamic flow, but when you go to static flow, it's failing to regulate at all. It's, or the lockup feature is not working, it's just continuing to bleed pressure through and equalize the pressure. So now we're above 90. Approaching 95. And it's continuing to bleed through. It's about 90, it's a little past 95 now. I'm going to go push or uh, flush the toilet once more. And we'll drop that pressure down as we regulate, as the regulator does kick in. And 
and we'll be able to tell from the dead hand how high that actually did go. And that's uh, that's basically a hundred on that dead hand, the red hand that stays still to show that uh, that regulator doesn't lock up at all. It's a bad regulator.